To you, Trev. Well, good evening, everybody. Great to be here again. We first performed at 10 o'clock this morning, so it's been a bit of a long day, but it's been a fabulous day. We started off with a fabulous Alan Morrison arrangement of I'm a Brass Band, believe it or not, and obviously some of the featured players in there we'll introduce you to later. And of course, that's from the musical Sweet Charity. We're now going to come to our solo item, and I think if we were to compare it to a musical, the title anyway, it's probably something David Bowie would have been involved with. It features one of the band's younger players, Morgan, who's 15, and apart from being dashingly good looking, he's also an amazing triathlete, which means he runs, swims, and cycles like the Brownlee brothers. So he's picked a fabulous piece of music to perform for you tonight to play Xylophonia. Will you please welcome Morgan Gallimore?
Wasn't that fantastic, ladies and gentlemen? Morgan Gallimore. <laughs> Certainly a star of today and a star of the future. And it's with that star that we now move towards our next piece of music, one of my favorite composer and arrangers. The band's performed many pieces by Dan Price, and each one we find a little something extra in it. So I first heard this at the Uni Brass Festival back in February, I hope you enjoy Starburst.
My wife keeps telling me to lose weight, but I think conducting that three more times, it could be half a stone by the end of the day. We come, very swiftly, for our last item. And we were turned again to the music of Paul Lovett Cooper, one of my favourite composers, apart from the fact he bought me a pint at the pub last time I saw him, but he's still a nice bloke. This piece is based on Psalm 95. We're going to play the last reflective section, entitled, Lord, you know that we love you, and I love you, Lord. Going to the final section, where the tunes come back from Psalm 95, finishing with, come, let us sing, joy to the Lord. We're now finishing with the finale from Fire in the Blood. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. 